Look, I was going to let this slide. Everybody saw what Anderson did to Patrick Laine the other day. Everybody knows, okay, this is going to get some kind of heavy punishment. He did. He got four games. Let's move on. But a lot of people have asked me to talk about it because they know I'm a Flames fan. And because it's a big Flames thing that happened, I should cover it. So I'll give my two cents on it. Look, I'm fully guilty of being a homer and having homer bias for a lot of stuff. This is not one of those cases. I actually think NHL player safety got it right by giving Anderson four game suspension for this. Now, the rumor is he might be appealing to get it down to three because that fourth game is the Heritage Classic against Edmonton. So missing that, that's really, I think in my opinion, that's them throwing the book at Rasmus Anderson. So I think if his appeal gets it down to three, he still gets to play the outdoor game. I think it still sends a message like player safety is trying to do here. And I mean, it's embarrassing for the guy, right? I mean, one play, end of the game, everybody's saying, what was he thinking here? The message gets across. And look, I'm sure you guys have seen the hit a million times. I don't need to show it over and over again here. So I'll make this quick. There's three points of interest on this play. Number one, line is vulnerable. It's the end of the game. He's going for the empty net. And yes, a lot of people will say, hey, the other team's mad. They're losing. You should expect to get lit up on a play like that. And look, while I do think players in Line's situation there need to prepare themselves for that and protect themselves from that, not from this type of hit. This one just shouldn't be happening. Number two, Anderson launches upward, leaves his feet, and that's a big no-no in the NHL when you're going to crank somebody. And lastly, he makes contact with Line's dome with his elbow. And interestingly, if you watch the video released by Player Safety, they specifically mentioned that Anderson's argument was that Line was low, and that's what caused Anderson to finish high on the play. But again, I agree with player safety's assessment on this one where they said if line is low, it's Anderson's responsibility to meet line lower when going to hit him. Now, Laine is hurt and did miss yesterday's game against Minnesota for Columbus, so I do think that also played into the punishment for Rasmus Anderson. And hopefully Laine can come back sooner rather than later because he was dynamic against the Flames on Friday night. And I'm sorry to disappoint the Flames fans who are hoping for me to go full homer here and be like, no, justice for Rasmus. No, 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 it's, it doesn't warrant that right now. It was dirty. He got punished for it. He'll be back. I mean... I hope he gets to play in the outdoor game and it's three games instead of four, but even if it's four, next time you'll think more before you do something like that, Rasmus. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.